Hello, I am Marta Sparas Candelo and I would like you to join us for these few coming minutes where we're going to meet George Muscat, the artist for today. Good morning, George, and thank you for asking us over. Um, thank you for coming. If I asked you to introduce yourself, how would you start? Wow, I remember when, when I chose ceramics mm -hmm. and I went to my mother and father at that age, I was only 14. <laughs> and my father said, what are you going to choose? I said, I'm going to choose ceramics. He said, oh my God, you're not gonna find a future like that. You know? <laughs> so I said, but, but that's what I am inclined to. To do. And my father said, no, no, leave him alone. He knows what to do. Anyway, thanks they to my parents, they never helped me to be what I am today, but they never interfered in what I wanted to do. Another thing, another thing, for example, at that age, uh, at that age, 38 years ago, there was Gabriel Caruana. Gabriel Caruana was, uh, I... The person you admire? I uh, still do. Good. I still do. You know, he was the one that, that introduced ceramics to me, mm -hmm. um, but in a way that, maybe not in a technical way, but in a way that to, for expression, to express yourself and never look back. Just do what you feel. In fact, if you look at my work, there are a lot of different styles, if I can call them styles. I hate, I hate style. Style is when someone die, mm -hmm. dies and that's finished, you know, or someone is there for their comfort zone, I say. You know? They don't move out. They don't move out because they feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to change. I like my ideas. I change all the time. Every day is different. Every moment is different. Uh, uh, what are you going to do in any exhibitions in the future? Uh, no, my inspiration is to go abroad now. Uh -huh. I'm working on a badge of work um, a bit particular. I can't reveal. Um, <laughs> I've got some contacts now in Japan or England, ah. it's uh, the best, the best uh, offer. We'll take I, the exhibition. I'll take the best, uh, take okay. the best offer and, and I'll go there. I'm still working on it, so. What methods did you use? Uh, what, what, what colors or? Uh, basically, basically, because I love casting. Uh -huh. I love casting, I even cast humans parts of humans, okay. anything that I see I cast, I love casting. <laughs> I used to cast even rebel walls, you know, oh, for their textures, yes. and, the textures uh, yes, nice. and, and, and rocks uh, near the sea, mm -hmm. you know, I, even roads, even really bad roads that everyone complains <laughs> about. I used to cast those holes sometimes or even tree trunks. I love the texture yes. of it, you know. And then when you see it in a cast, it would be like the negative of. Okay. It's amazing, you know? Even the cast itself. It's, no, it's basically is about casting. I'm casting things and then putting them in, a, in an order, mm -hmm. a frame or something, uh -huh. you know? For it to be exhibited. To be exhibited, that, that's okay. what I can say. So, uh, if there was a young man and he, or a, a young woman, and she asked you for advice, uh, which piece of advice would you give her or him? Okay, uh, it's a good question. It's a good question because that is, uh, that will be part of my first lectures in MCAST. I would say, this is the technique. Mm -hmm. Now, you have to give it um, a little bit of okay. soul or life soul life your own thing you have to do your own thing this is only the beginning mm -hmm. all right and everyone will everyone will finish the same uh, everyone will finish a different result, a different result. result will be different but uh, who am I to tell them but if you ask me the question I'm gonna say it just don't listen to what other people are saying. Mm. If you are comfortable with what you are doing at that moment, uh -huh. keep on doing it. The next moment, you're a different person. You do something else. You learn from your mistakes, and that's the best way to learn. Practice, experiment, 
and always notate, always take notes of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. That is important for future references, okay? For example, if you're working in ceramics, I've known a lot of ceramics, they just go and buy their, a, a bag of clay and a pot of glaze or in a powder form, they just mix it, apply it, that's not ceramics. Ceramics is, even if you buy this glaze, just take it a step further. Push it, push it a step further, add something to it. Do, okay. you to get different results. Uh -huh. Always have a note of what you're doing. For example, I have more than 140 glazes. Mm -hmm. Mostly they're not my glazes, they're not my mixes, they're not my recipes. But you can't find these glazes. Why? Because I took them a step further. I added something or... or the artist's or I'm, touch. It's, you gave yes, them the but you have, to, you have to take note of what you're doing. So that you can go back to it. For yes, a, okay. if you want to repeat it. To repeat the effect. Ceramics mostly is unpredictable. Uh -huh. But you can, we can't rely on only happy accidents. Mm -hmm. We can't rely only on what we open the kiln then and say, oh, this is good, oh, this is not so. No, if you took note of it, in time you can master the technique. Good.